TV and film industry in Georgia <laughs> is booming. It comes at a time when actors in our state and across the country are out of work. They're fighting for wages and benefits they say they deserve. Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper, live tonight outside Teamsters Local 728 Union Hall in southwest Atlanta, where a rally for Georgia actors just wrapped up. Tori, you spoke to the chief negotiator for sag -Atra tonight. What did he tell you? Well, Alan, he says that he wants all of the actors and members under SAG-AFTRA to know that he really feels confident that he can bring this deal home. And until then, stay strong and stay united. One day longer, one day stronger. SAG-AFTRA and their members say this is not the end of the script for actors. It is within view. We will get there. And all we have to do to get there is stand strong, stand united, Duncan Crabtree is the national director and chief negotiator for SAG-AFTRA. He's been working to get fair contract deals for actors and performers in the television and film industry in Atlanta and across the nation since July. He says the industry is changing, but the contracts for the people driving its success are not. That's why you know, things like minimum wages that keep up with inflation, something that addresses the streaming situation and the inability of actors to make a living while working on streaming shows, and also artificial intelligence. Donald Love Jr. is a stuntman, and he's been a member of SAG-AFTRA for three years. But he says the last three months have not been easy. Some people have fell, fallen into depression, meds, et cetera, like that. Uh, I've known stuntmen, stuntwomen as well. Again, it's it's rough. Duncan says last Wednesday he was in negotiations with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers CEOs, and he says SAG-AFTRA made adjustments in their proposal, but ultimately the CEOs walked away from the negotiating table. So my basic message to them is, you know, we have to be talking for anything to happen, and walking away from the table doesn't help us get the industry back to work. Now tonight, leaders of SAG-AFTRA did not provide a timeline for their members on when they do expect a deal to be reached, but they did say they are hoping to get it done before the holidays. Reporting live in Southwest Atlanta tonight, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First.